Hello procrastinators! This week, Cyberpunk 2077 makers CD Projekt Red offered up an apology and a roadmap. We'll start with the apology first, which could be summed up as we designed a game that wouldn't work on old gen, and then we just kept on making it, and of course hid the codes from reviewers. Look, I love Cyberpunk 2077. I've seriously enjoyed it on PC, of course. I'm not a fucking animal. But I'm not even done with it yet, right? So far, I've put 60 hours into the game, which is damn rare for me. More so when you realise just how fucking broken the game is. So, believe me when I say that this game, this game that everyone was going like, it's gonna be the best fucking deepest RPG in the world. This game is a big, silly dum-dum. Oh, it... It thinks it's smart, it thinks it's deus ex talking about transhumanism and what it means to be. But it's not, it's got nothing to say and it doesn't even fucking try to. It's Far Cry Slicey Blade Arm Edition. Night City is strewn with endless copy-pasted crimes to stop by killing bases to assault by killing in hundreds of killing base side quests. It's a Ubisoft game. And I like those, so I like this. Night City is easily the most stunning open world in all of video games ever. The soundtrack is a 10 out of 10. The graphics are a 10 out of 10, or 2 out of 10 on consoles. The writing is stellar. The characters are fleshed out wonderfully. The mission pyramid song is one of video games' all-time great fucking missions. It's just so kind and sweet. The fucking cars all look stunning. They slide their asses out the slightest provocation, meaning that you could roleplay Akira every fucking turn. It's packed full of secrets. Did, did you know you could adopt a cat? I've adopted a cat in Cyberpunk. Look, every single creative knocked it out of the fucking park, despite it being a big, silly, dumb game. And for me, that makes Cyberpunk 2077 an all-time top 10 forever and ever and ever amen kind of game. Well, actually, it would have been had it come out a year from now. Or two, maybe even three. Do you remember when X-Men Origins Wolverine leaked? Way back in 2009, a DVD quality copy of X-Men Origins Wolverine appeared on the internet. And this was about a month before the film even came into cinemas. And it was glorious. Why? Well, it wasn't finished. It was nowhere near. It was the full film, all like 107 minutes of its runtime. But it didn't have any of the CGI. It was just Hugh Jackman fighting a grey donut on a stick or a big green sheet. I mean, the placeholder graphics that were there had the graphical fidelity of a YouTube exclusive Dalek TV series. For someone with an interest in film, it was a hell of a thing to see. Not just a peek behind a curtain, but just no curtain. But there was a different problem. Deadpool. And if you've ever seen X-Men Origins Wolverine, you know what the Deadpool problem is. And that's where the question came up. They're gonna fix all that before release. Right? Right? And that's my problem with Cyberpunk 2077. Sure, I'm pretty sure all of the glitches will be tarted up. But there's a lot that I'm not sure about. I mean, right, police never chase you. And they materialize out of fucking thin air. Is that broken? Or working as intended? Is that unfinished CGI? Or Deadpool? More examples, you can't change your appearance after the first time, you can't change your hair, no animation for having your fucking skeleton swapped out, no car customization. why is every car you can buy a separate fucking mission? No appearance of trauma team, even though it kind of seems like it was going to be a big bit of the game, you can't preview clothing or weapons before you buy them, having to choose between good stats and fashion, NPCs don't have the promised daily routines, why does nobody notice I've got my tits out? On that note, why can't I actually get my vag out outside of a menu? Why is the life path system ignored after the first 30 minutes? Why do romance options just hang out of their windows after you've done their quest like a cum sock drying in the wind? Why can we buy brain dances if they're completely fucking useless? Why can't can I get on the cool trains? Actually, more than that, why can't I get on the cool trains but if you run along the rails you'll find that the stations do exist and actually have enterable interiors? Why can't the car AI just drive around anything? How much of this is unfinished CGI and how much of this is fucking Deadpool? Ah, well, maybe this roadmap will give us the answers. I called for a roadmap like a month ago, more, seven years ago, fuck it, I'm a genius. Look. I don't need dates or release times, I just need to see which bits are CGI and which bits are fucking Deadpool. But of course, with this roadmap, that hasn't happened. The roadmap can be summed up with the phrase, release unfinished game, DLC, question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. That actually was 2021, uh, it's release unfinished game, profit. Actually, it's 2021, 
profit, release unfinished game. That's the fucking order. Anyway, I'm going to still finish Cyberpunk. I'll drag myself fucking through it. It's good. It's, it's, there's so much good in there. It's just let down by the arseholes who ran the fucking show. Actually, there's your fucking box quote. Cyberpunk 2077, an absolute success of art, seriously damaged by absolute failure of management. They probably won't use that. Anyway, how long have we got left? Oh shit. Right, I've got to do more things to do. I'll be quick. Scott Pilgrim, the game has just been re released. Yes, you should buy it. It's really fucking good. There's also a limited run thing that's probably sold out by the time this video goes out. Oh well. Lucasfilm Games is now a thing, and that came with some announcements like um, EA no longer have exclusive rights to the Star Wars license, which, let's be honest, apart from Fallen Order, they absolutely fucking squandered. Oh, and also Ubisoft are making a Star Wars game, and you guessed it, it's open world. Oh, and Bethesda are making an Indiana Jones game. Bugs. Why is it always bugs? Um, speaking of bugs, a really big Fallout New Vegas model releases this week. Fallout the Frontier. It's snowy, it's got 27,000 lines of dialogue and 300 new weapons. Fallout fans genuinely fucking terrify me. Nintendo released the Mario Red and Blue Edition Switch, which is just fucking red in handheld mode because it's got red Joy-Cons and a red middle bit. There's no fucking blue in that, you fucking idiots. Also, it's got red and white striped strings on the fucking Joy-Con connectors, which they should have been blue. To match his degrees, you've got the yellow, yellow fucking crap. We'll move on. And finally, Mario is about to shit the fucking bed. Yeah, the trailer for Super Mario 3D, whatever it's fucking called, revealed that Mario is going the way of Sonic, 3D Sonic's games. It had fucking metal music. It's got a glowing gold fucking Super Saiyan Mario. Fucking that's it. Mario is stealing ideas from 3D Sonic games. RIP the Mario franchise, 1981 to 2021. Right, that's all from me. I've got 750 cyber hidden packages left to find. Bye.